Hello, people of the internet, I am Solrak Dragon, and this is not where we left off on Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm here for two reasons. First, I was informed that if you lose to Setzer here, a different cutscene plays out, so I figured we might as well get that cutscene. And as for how I'm back here, well, let's just say that I recorded episode 6, this current episode, once already, except I really didn't. Turns out my keyboard was off the whole time, so when I accidentally pressed the record button, it didn't record. So I've got to play through episode 6 again, which means time to that I up. need to um, pretty much loot. I need to pretty much make it there again. So, in other words, I need to let Setzer kick my butt. Come on, dude. Come on. Um, well, not let him kick my butt. I could have just kicked his butt, I suppose, but, um, you know, I figured this would be the easier way. Are you seriously? You were a way tougher fight on that other one. But, um, yeah, so, I gotta make my way all the way back up to day six for Rock's story. And then, um, we'll actually get back to the meet save file. This one is a little bit tougher, and it is on an easier difficulty, so, yeah. Or at least, it will be on, it's e on an easier difficulty right now. I'll end up turning it back up to critical mode when I end up reaching the, um, this is hardly a what do you call it? That's actual 6 day, because that day actually has some combat in it, and I don't want to cheat you guys out of the actual experience of combat. So here we go with the cutscene. I don't like that I let this arrogant blowhard win. And I pretty much threw Thanks the match. for the win, partner. This is for you. Oh really? A medal? Thanks so much, dude. It's such a nice little medal. We already know what it does, but is there any other cutscene? Oh, yep, there's a bit more. Talking to these three, they're shocked that we lost. At least they don't understand that I threw it. And Pence, as usual, is a little bit on the nicer side. At least they're happy that we made it that far. And yeah, we get the medal, which just increases our strength, and we still get the trophy, so nothing else will change. I will see you guys all at the beginning of day six proper. Alright people, we're back to the actual part of the video. We are all the way on day number six. In the usual spot, Roxas was just completely ignored by his friends, as we believe he is starting to get erased. Or, they're being erased, or his memory sores integrating him fully, or something along those lines. I'm sure it's something along those lines. So, yeah, this should be interesting. I do, of course, already know what happens because, again, the friggin' thing didn't want to record because I forgot to turn on my keyboard stupidly. Made me feel like a real idiot when I saw it, that it had happened. A real big idiot, man. So big. But still, um, we got Axel here. Look at what here. it's come to. Yeah. I've been given these icky orders to destroy you. Yeah, it would if suck to have to destroy to your best friend. Rox, you really should just go back We're with them. Best friends, right? Yeah, exactly. If you sure, can remember that. But I'm not getting turned into a dusk for. Wait a sec. You remember now? Only yeah. bit, sadly, yeah. Axel. Great. Only but you know, gotta make sure and all. So, uh, um, what's and... our boss's name? I mean, even if he doesn't remember that, you can still bring him back. Oh. I can't believe this. He's really regretful of it, too. He doesn't like how he has to kill his best friend, and I don't think anybody would like to kill your best friend in pretty much any situation. Killing your best friend is sort of something that you do not want to do, regardless of who you are, even if it would unlock superpowers in your eyes. Oh, we got our first encounter of that new Heartless there. Didn't really see much from it, though you did get a big idea of what it looks like. We'll be fighting it plenty more times, though. Axel freezes as, I want to say, 
Nominee, isn't it? Roxas. No, oh, not nominee. To the mansion. Diz. The time has come. Roxas says slow. Painter! Oh, right. No, he Pence! has Pence! Olet! I was about to say he slowly accepted his fate, but... Nope, he's still holding on to his supposed friends, sadly. Time has completely halted. And I do say supposed because... Pretty much... Oh, we can't go up here. I didn't think it would let us, considering it's a completely The Roxas different. that I know is long gone. Sadly, Axel. Sadly, he is. Fine. I see how it is. And you can even see the hurt in his face and feel it in his voice. Even though he's a nobody with no heart. Oh. Um. I guess this was a way I could have taken. Okay. Ouch. Um. Yeah. This... I can safely call him there. The snow paint does grow underground. Um, it's like a shark in that way. And it is pretty much invincible to damage while like that. However, it can still be attacked. Is the best way I can think of putting it. Um, and attacking it once will draw it out of its invincible state. At which point it can be hit. However, I do not think that means that just because it can get hit means it's an easy kill. Because it has a little bit of an extra trick to it that um, I hope we don't see. But if we do not, if we do see it, it'll be obvious. If we don't see it, I will mention exactly what it is when we clear this whole part. I'm taking a longer route this time just to see if anything else spawns or anything. I kind of doubt it, but never know. I mean, you might get something special spotting. It's a rare thing, but it does happen once in a while. I do have all the abilities equipped as well. Oh, there we go again. Yeah. And just because it's submerged does not mean it can be attacked. Pulling with one of those fin-like appendages are up that it can be attacked properly. Otherwise, it is pretty much invincible. And if you let it attack you like that, you're in for uh, quite the little walloping. Quite the little walloping indeed. Yuck. Ouch. And as you can see, it is powerful enough for me to have tried to eliminate it right off the bat because it is annoying otherwise. It does fly. Yeah, it is a very annoying one. You do not want to leave it idle for long. Trust me. Uh, high push I'm not even going to bother equipping it because there's no point in it when this is going to be pretty much our backup save in case I screw anything up with my recordings. And just like I did already once. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Does its thing. There we go. I did switch it back to um, critical difficulty, by the way. So I am playing this on the hardest difficulty, and I did farm a little bit on the um, stations of heart part, which is why I will be getting my sixth level up shortly when I have not yet gotten that on the main one. All right, we're approaching the old mansion. Door is locked. I wonder how we will get in. Oh no! Nobodies are attacking me! Look at them, standing there menacingly. However will I escape? Don't call me and then lock me out. It's not like you can't slip through those bars, probably. Or use common sense. You've got a key blade. I mean, honestly, if I had amnesia or something along those lines, and I had a keyblade, my first thought would be to jam the keyblade into the lock. Oh, and we got Riku to the rescue. You know it's Riku by the signature blade. Yeah, my first instinct would be to jam that key in the lock and twist and turn it until it cracks open. Or actually, probably attack the things. Got some more new nobodies here, or more like old ones from that fight with that big boss. Legs that turn into birds. And swords. Very interesting nope. Very interesting indeed. 
Uh, we got item over yeah. here as yeah. well as more of these suckers. Thankfully, they're not too powerful. If you let them catch you off guard, though, it will be a bad time. So don't let them catch you off guard. Over here, we have a blocked doorway. Sadness. And then over here, we have one that we can actually enter. This is, you might notice, where Ansem and, or not Ansem, but Riku and Diz were talking. I keep getting Riku and Ansem mixed up because they look identical. How am I supposed to tell the difference between two identical looking characters? It's like the developers are trying to tricksy tricks you. And that's what I meant about the sword thing. And we got a strength and defense increase for level 6. Since I did make this with everything the same, that will be what we gain for our level up to level 6 when we do it on the main account as well. So look forward to a nice little strength increase, which is always enjoyable. Um, opening this gives us an elven bandana. I think we can equip that. Um, given that I don't have the champion belt, I do have the metal equipped here, which increases strength. And the Elven Bandana here slightly increases your defense. So, all in all, not too bad. Well, only a massive blast could have broken this. Yep, only a truly massive blast. Although, I think on the main one, I'm not wearing the Elven Bandana as the Champion's Belt counts as that item, that same item, I want to say. Yeah, I think it does. Um, we'll find out, I suppose, before too long. Ouch. Yeah, see what I mean about not wanting to get caught in that? Good thing we killed him we did it. Can get a little tricksy, but heading into here, gonna kick back and relax as it is cutscene time. Roxas inside of Naminé's sitting room. All the autistic, autistic portraits on the walls. Some of them better than others. And others make me wonder why she doesn't have better equipment than just crayons, apparently, to draw with. Because it is really not the best equipment. Oh, right. We also get, in addition to new cutscenes... Reiterations of old ones that we've seen probably a couple times already. So, I'm not going to skip through them because, I mean, there might be those watching this in release order, I suppose. Rather than the chronological order, like, timeline-wise that I'm doing it. So there might be those watching it in release order, which would put this before... Someone, Reminds someone, me I up. think, possibly, maybe. Why did the Keyblade I choose so. me? I can't recall. No, even then I it would be so. It's just you can't turn on I the guess organization. For those that didn't watch my Let's Watch series, yeah. This is for those that didn't watch my Let's Watch series either because they thought it'd be too boring or anything along those lines. We'll get to see some rehashes of cutscenes that we saw on the Let's Watch. I do hope this is like the last iteration of it, like. In this area. Oh, nominee! Organization 13. They're a bad group. Yes, they are. Bad or good? Actually, yeah. I don't know. This is a very. They're a group of topic. incomplete people who wish to be whole. Yeah, there's to nothing. To that end, they're desperately searching yeah, for. Yeah, there's something. nothing wrong with wanting what? to be whole, but um, searching for Kingdom Hearts to <laughs> accomplish it is it's just quite the. Um, I think. Bad I've been thing. running away from the question I, guess I the really want to ask. To hell is paid What's going to happen to me now? Oh, yeah. Bigger Just questions, tell me Roxas. that. Oop. Nothing else really Think matters anymore. Just something falling. You are... Uh-oh. Nominee! Is digitized. And we see that one of the last things to disappear is one of her eyes. Which There's is no very There's no knowledge that has the power creepy. to change your fate. Even if it doesn't. I want to know. Yeah. I have the right He to does know. have the right to know. Hey, nobody doesn't have a right to and know. I really don't like this. Nor does he, it even have the right to be. He is very what is arrogant. A nobody? And I can't really this, say... We're out of time. 
Too many nobodies. Yep. And... Nobody! Roxas, nobodies like us are only half a person. We know that. You won't disappear. Uh, You'll that's be debatable. Whole. I'll disappear? Yes. No. Probably. No maybe. further outbursts. And Diz. No, you won't disappear. You'll. Yeah, see Wait. what I mean about not liking Diz? He is very much, um. <sighs> Roxas. Not a... We will meet again. I don't know. And then we can talk about He's everything. It's not exactly. I may not know it's you. He seems to have some and you may good not intentions, know it's me. but. But we will meet again. Oh, yeah. Someday soon. Nominee saying that I they'll promise. meet again. Let's I don't go. know. Um, Nominee. we know that Nominee is likely Kyrie's nobody. And given that we know Diz wants to dispose of Nominee rather than reunite her with Kyrie, yeah, who knows? Um, we obtain Nominee sketches. Sketches left by Nominee. The drawings appear to have a deep meaning. And then the mansion map, a map of the area. Oh boy, a map of the mansion! Oh man, look at this room. It's so big. We would miss so much without this map, huh, people? Huh? Oh, yeah. Nothing really in here, so just pop back out into the mansion foyer. I do believe these enemies will respawn, so we best be ready for combat. Yep. These guys. You know, when I get something better than the fourth combo, I will definitely get rid of that. I know, I think there's probably going to be some instances where that's good, but the knockback of it is just too much. We knock the enemies back way too far for us to really react to them and get them. It's just not required. Like I said, there's probably some things, some instances where it will be useful, but... Right now in combat, unless our enemies are backed right up against a wall, it is useless. Yeah. Ah. All right. Yeah. Ah. Ah. See, I mean, look at that. Just ah. barely ended up outside of our reach. Ah. Just barely ah. was enough yeah. to ah. stay alive. And staying alive would lead to us being dead, which is, you know, not what we want to happen. Head into here now. Again, where would we be without this amazing, amazing map of the mansion? Now, this is where the significance of Nominee's drawings come in mind. There's her sketch pad, mysteriously on the table there. We have a crayon, again. Why on earth she's only using crayons for her drawings when she could probably do better ones with colored pencils, even? I don't know. Although, I suppose it's not markers. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've seen one of some amazing artwork made by people just using markers, but still. Markers are very messy, they can smear, and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, statue is staring at the floor, that's probably for future reference. Or, if you came in here first, I guess. Opening this gives us a high potion. We're on the other side of that door that's completely blocked by pipes. Excuse me. So it's not only blocked on the other side, but it's blocked on this side as well. Moving down a little bit further. We end up in another cutscene. Ooh, look at that. Roxas, what do you think it is? What do you think it is? You gonna get more flashes? Of course he is, but look at all this complicated tech. You know how to work it all? I doubt it, because Sora probably never would be able to figure it out either. You know, that is one very distinct difference in Sora and Roxas' personality. Sora is a bit of a goofball, while Roxas is way more serious. It's like a very distinct difference. And I don't know. I mean, Sora has his own stuff, but... I kind of like Roxas. I don't know. It's weird. They're both the same person, really, but... Hmm. Of course, here we see all the organization members. Not all of them that Roxas alone has seen. Because Roxas has seen all their faces. Just, uh... Faces of those who we would have seen if you hadn't played 358-2 days. Or watched it, I suppose. 
all those other members of the organization we have seen before. Here's that rehash of an old cutscene once again. Why? This is the last Why do you time have I the Keyblade? Showing up. Shut up. Being rude there, Roxas. Riku showing his skills off so he can pay them bills. For Diz. And here comes the payment in the form of... <laughs> One unconscious Roxas on a suit. Will it work? If we can maintain the simulated town until Namine finishes chaining together Sora's memories. What will happen to Roxas? He holds half of Sora's power within him. In See, the end, Roxas have must have not been completely out of it when this was all happening. Until then, he'll need another personality to throw off his pursuers. So they purposefully erase his memories. Poor thing. Yeah. Poor it's Roxas. the fate of a nobody. Again, I really don't like this. And digitization. All right, Roxas. You know how you got in here. You know how you can escape. Will you use the console to de-digitize yourself out of this simulation? Or to digitize yourself inside of a simulation? Inside of a simulation? What will you do? Uh-oh. You're not acting rationally! Roxas, it's your only way at escape! No! So either Roxas is kicked off at the situation, or he's accepted his fate. Probably a good combination of both of them. Sadly, he's accepted his fate as having returned Sora since his memories have fully returned. But he's also frustrated at his fate since his memories have returned. Oh. Track with this. You don't know what this device is. This probably won't ever work again. I think with a little bit of elbow grease and duct tape, it might. You don't even know what this device is. You know what it is. It digitized you, Roxas. You could have used it to escape. Looks like someone's data. If you look there, you will see a nice, somewhat blurry thing of Sora. So, this is all about getting the Sora back together. And we head through here next to find ourselves face to face with Sora. No. Face to face with nobody. What's up? Quite literally. Because we have no idea who their bodies, mine, I guess, originally belonged to, which makes them very technically nobody's in the term of gameplay sense. But we also don't know what this, we also know that that's their species name is nobody's so it's a double purpose here and get the kill get the kill no that was a lucky kill that was a lucky lucky kill okay. and that's that all right if i remember correctly we will not be facing that nobody again for quite a while so the attack that you guys did not see that actually killed me quite a few times on the original playthrough this simply was amazing that they could explode. Axel. You really do remember me this time. Yes, you do. I'm so flattered! You don't seem it, Axel. Now you just seem tip. But you're too late! He's letting his anger control him so he doesn't have to deal with the sorrow. Now, Roxas has unlocked his true potential. True two keyblades. But Axel is not gonna be going easy this time. Okay, maybe a little bit easy. He's probably still hesitant about killing his best friend. Plus, he is Come trapped here. in a I'll computer simulation. So. Um, very unique attack animation through Roxas here. Everything does less damage now, but you can combo the hell out of it. It's part of the language. You also have reaction commands. I could use more of them, but why bother when I've got this amazing 
time Roxas and Axel will ever meet. Sadly, it's not on the best of terms. Axel, you were a great friend. Roxas knows it, and he will never forget you, even as he fades into oblivion. Just like you will never forget him, I'm sure. For best friends, do not forget one another if you are truly best friends. You get on their bad side and they'll and destroy you! And more flashbacks. No one would miss me. Oh, Axel, or Roxas, you know Axel. That's not what? true. I Your best friends. Roxas is just being selfish. So sad that two best friends must end in such a way. <laughs> so sad. And Axel. Let's meet again in the next life. Yeah, I'll be waiting. Roxas knows he didn't kill Axel. Silly. But... Just because you have a next life doesn't mean that I do. Because there's no guarantee that um, Zemnus will let Axel get away with this failure. Basement. Over here. Um, I remember seeing this. It looks like it leads somewhere, but it's block power. But the power of darkness prevents entry. Not really sure what it is. It's a weird glowing orb that feels very out of place. Even in a computer simulation, it feels out of place. But if we go through here, we'll be confronted with another cutscene if memory serves. Weird flower pods, a chest, and Roxas stops at these two in particular for who Donald. to lie in them. But Donald and Goofy. Goofy. Sora's two companions. Of course, Roxas would remember them. Roxas knows he's closing in on Sora. Let's open up this final chest for a high potion. Donald is sleeping inside. Goofy. Sleep inside. It seems only the power is on. Why they would need all of these pods? The world may never know. This hasn't been used in a while. There's evidence this was used before. So, apparently they have used them before. What for? I have no idea. Yeah, what is the purpose of this? I mean, obviously it's meant to help restore their memories since they were affected by Castle Oblivion, but why the need for so many? There's the main one, and it is. At last, the Keyblade's chosen one. Yes. Who are you talking to? Me? Or Sora? Or Sora? To half of Sora, of course. <sighs> Diz is you at least reside in darkness. Still acknowledging Rock. What I head. need is someone who can move about the realm of light and destroy organizations. You, know, you don't really need that. An assassin Why? is actually who are you? better. I am a servant of the world. After all. Which world? <laughs> Diz. We know there's a lot of them. And so if I'm a servant, then you should servant. consider yourself a tool at best. Was oh. that Diz? Was that supposed to be a joke? Because I'm think not it laughing. Was, but neither am I. Unfortunately, denied. My apologies. This is only a data-based projection. And Roxas is, again, frustrated. He's trying to take out his frustration. Even a Keyblade can't do anything against just some data. And Roxas is losing strength. As he is so close to Sora, he himself is going to say, Come, over here. Oh, it's time, Roxas. 
Time to accept your fate and say goodbye. I hate you so much. Oh. You should share some of that hatred with Sora. He's far too nice for his own good. You know, that is somewhat no. true. My heart belongs to me. So is that. Roxas is his own person, and he shouldn't have to fade away. But even though he's reluctant about it, he does know what has to be done. Sora. It's sad, but what needs to be done needs to be done. You're lucky. Oh, yeah. Looks like my summer vacation is over. Over. Roxas. Made his way, at least with a smile on his face. And now, we get the official intro to the game. Kingdom Hearts 2. Final Mix. Alright. Well, with that, Roxas' story is finally complete. We learned a lot about him. We've grown up attached to him quite heavily during his travels. We'd probably have grown more attached to him had we actually played 358 2 days, but unfortunately, even now, there are some limitations with technology. And there was Mickey stepping off a train that we had seen in the last episode only of the seven wonders that wasn't really explained oh i guess he's not gone just yet Sora. standing in the dark and who's there Sora heard him calling Sora, wake up and now donald and goofy are calling him instead and he's floating still inside the egg but he was, when he encountered Roxas, it was in the virtual egg. Virtual and mental, I guess. And the epic music starts up as Sora finally awakens. And like any person who wakes up for a long nap, he stretches and yawns. Something Goofy and Donald are laughing at for no apparent reason. Because that's what everybody does. Donald! Goofy! And he is relieved. <laughs> Why though? I'm not sure entirely. Mm, that was some nap. Yes, it was. And Jiminy, were you with Sora this entire you time? Asleep? That'd be a little I guess weird. We must have been, or I don't think we'd be so drowsy. Oh, well, when do you think we went to sleep? Let's see. We defeated Ansem. <laughs> yep. Restored peace to the world. Found Kairi. That you did. Oh yeah. And then we went to look for Riku. I think that's right so far. And sadly, they do not remember their time. What does your journal say, Jiminy? Because, like Nominee said, all their memories Gee, of the place. There's were only one sentence. Although, thank Nominee. Hmm. Nominee, made I wonder Jiminy who that is. made sure to at least try and vaguely remember her. Even though they don't completely. And Donald's uh, still a bit of a jerk. What, what do you say we find out where we are? Yes, let's. Unfortunately, it doesn't let us explore the castle, but we do get introduced to the party system, which is pretty much identical to how it's always been in the Kingdom Hearts games with the party member. So, yay! We're finally out of that computer simulation. And we can finally now view the status of party members from the main menu. All of Rox's abilities and money have been passed to Sora. Jiminy's journal contains hints of what to do and next and past events. Alright, so we head this way. I did already get this on my main playthrough, but there be potion there. And then over this way, you'll find another chest with a mithril shard. And Sora's got a little bit more flair with him now. He's carrying his keyblade over his shoulder on his back partially. He, not, he does the little twirl to unlock chests now. Um, don't go back to the mansion again. You might fall asleep. Besides, check out what kind of place this is. I'm excited. I am sure I am too. And Poofy, I'm sure I am too. You are asleep for so long, you may still be kind of dazed, Sora. Don't worry, if you forget what you have to do, just check Jiminy's journal. 
I'm not sure how Jiminy would know what to do next, but I guess it makes as much sense as a lot of things in this universe, which is not a lot, but still. And he's returning to a location familiar to Roxas somewhat, slightly. You know, I think I've been to this town. I mean, technically What's you have, and so has Roxas. Mm. You were there in the... Um, Guess I must have buddy imagined it. You were there in Castle Oblivion through memory form, slightly, but, you know, you don't remember, which is kind of sucky. And we see Hainer, Pence, and Olette look blazing around, very bored. But wait, they don't know about talking ducks and, um, what do you call it? Dogs. We That's what want. Is, so. Oh, no. Uh, nothing? Yeah. Just wondering what was back here. Yeah, we're just wandering around. Now you know. This is our spot. Um, what? You're new around here, right? Yes, I'm I Pence. am. Hainer, nice to meet you. But we got sure stuff to do, so like catch you later. My name's Olette. Hey, Pence did you finish up the summer homework nice. yet? Independent studies are the worst, huh? Homework? You know, you know he's new around here, yet you think he has the homework hey, as well. what are your names? It's weird. Oh, that sorry. Oh, uh, we're Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Hey there. Hello. They're like Sora, weird names. Donald, Goofy. We just met someone who was looking for you. Oh no, right, that's right. He sure seemed in a hurry. He had a black coat on, so I couldn't see his face. But he had these big round ears. Now let's think, who could that the be? King! The king, of course it's Mickey. Who else would it be? Where'd you I mean, see it could him? Have been Minnie, I guess. At the station. But... The station. They wouldn't have Thanks. Said he with that. Well, you'd better get back to that assignment. You know, in Roxas's virtual simulation world, Later. you had already gotten that done. The fact that you don't have it done now. Depths of yeah, let's get to the station. Modern society. All right, so this is where I'm going to end this episode off. When we pick up next time, not only will we be back on the proper save file. But, we will also be going over all of the journal entries, as that has grown quite significantly. And you can even see the difference here in both playtime and money between the two playthroughs. So, yeah. For now, though, I have been Solrak Dragon. Um, oh right, we get... we'll go over all this later. I've been Solrak Dragon, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give me some feedback in the form of a like or a comment. If you guys want to check out more videos by me, be sure to check out my channel below. And if you like what you see, drop me a subscription. Outside of all that, though, I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic day, everybody.